Good morning, dogs. Band, student council, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Marching band and color guard tryouts will continue tomorrow from 4 to 5.30. Also, please make plans to come watch a spring music concert next Wednesday at May 17th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5. FHS is having its first annual Hooping for a Cause on May 13th at 3 p.m. in Case Arena. Admission is $5. We hope to see you there. Also, all dodgeball games will be moving down to Case Arena as of tomorrow. Now, we'll send it to Sports and Weather. What's up, dogs? There will be a cross-country call-up meeting for anyone interested in running cross-country next fall. The meeting will be tomorrow at 7.30 in room 403. Check in for attendance with your community teacher first, then come to room 403. Last night, the Lady Hot Dogs softball team faced off against Western Boone here at home. Although the dogs lost last night 0-7 versus the number three ranked team, they are the only team to keep Western Boone under 17 runs. Cameron Campbell pitched 110 pitches last night with 14 strikeouts. Heather Messingill caused upsets in the infield and Emily Flores in the outfield with amazing catches. The Dogs played an amazing defense and will face the Stars again Thursday at 5.30 at Western Boone. Also last night, the varsity baseball team fell to the Stars 0-2. Jose Lopez pitched a no-hitter through six to and two-thirds and surrendered one hit and zero errors on the night. Last night, the Lady Hot Dog tennis team faced off against the Crawfordsville Athenians with the final score of 0 and 5 as a team. Number one singles, Libby Pierce fought hard against a strong player, but ended up with a two to six and a two to six loss. Pierce is now three and two in conference play. In JV action, Dana Castaneda played a hard match and had some solid serves and good ground strokes. She tied eight to eight, but lost 47 in the tiebreaker. Last night was also senior night. The Lady Hot Dogs honored the three seniors, Carly Williams, Dana Castaneda, and Caitlin Barkley. Anyways, that's all for sports dogs. Make sure you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. Not a weather. Thanks, Nelson, and good morning, dogs. For today's weather, coming into school today was in the low 50s with some wind, and around 5 p.m. it will go up to 78 degrees for the highest and for the day being mostly sunny. Later around 8, it will reach the low 52 degrees and will be partly cloudy. And for tomorrow's weather, it will be, it will be partly cloudy with the highest reaching around the 80s. And later at night, will be cloudy with occasional rain. That's all for weather. Now back with your host. For lunch today in lines one and two will be cheese quesadilla. In line three will be chicken empanada. And in line four will be pepperoni calzone. And a happy birthday goes out to Madison Davis. Before we end today's announcements, here's our student council members for the 2023-2024 school year. In ninth grade, Chloe Moudy, Jesse Wells, Ariel Cruz, Lakin Barton, Macy Duckworth, Caroline Queen, Denise Guerra, Luis Rafael Madera, Given West, Lily Rockhold, and Jackie Tobargihosa. And in 10th grade, Giselle Figueroa, Caleb Compton, Joanna Lozano Berrigan, Lily Cooper, Cameron Zeng, Jack Michael, Michelle Martinez Alaniz, Jasmine Osler, and Ellie Perez. And in 11th grade, Ava Michael, Peyton Webster, Clarissa Castaneda, Daisy Santos Valdez, Justine Thomas, Kenzie Jagger, Isaias Rosales, Angel Bautista, and Maria Flores Hernandez. Last but not least, your senior class Jasmine Lozano Berrigan, Eli Grasham, Isael Mesa, Daphne Santos, Cyro Flores, Jackie Valencia, and finally, myself. That's all for today's news, dogs. Make sure you like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.